What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Drippy back with another Drippy video, and today we got Balloon Pop episode 7. Now, you already know how I get down, bruh. We keep it real. I scan badges. I point out every little thing that I see. I will pause the video frequently, but it's not going to be unnecessary. It's when I peep something very important. So, we're going to go straight into this video. I hope they have beautiful girls, and I hope these niggas not weird, and I hope these girls not talking about all that astrology shit, all that bullshit. Last episode, we seen a gorilla with a uh, stripper outfit on. Some crazy wild shit. Alright, alright. Scanning her badges. Scanning her badges. Alright. I'm... She alright. She alright. I ain't gonna lie. Like, she do got a fat ass nose. I ain't gonna lie. She cool. She got a nice smile. It made up for it. She not bad. She not bad. Here she go. She wanna be the star of the show. Okay? Upgrading the quality girls? She not all that, by the way. I ain't say that like she was the best. She look old. She look like 40. No way. I ain't gonna lie. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. I ain't gonna lie. It's something about this I don't know about. Y'all seeing it? I don't know if it's the shoulders. I don't know if it's the, the strict structured face. But she came in looking like a, a nigga a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, she look rough. What the fuck? I, I feel like I've seen that before. Y'all know that bamboo? That bamboo uh, off the uh, textbooks in school? The one that had the... Uh, Y'all know what bamboo picture I'm talking about? That's who the fuck that just looked like. She look wild as shit. The foundation light as shit on her cheeks. She can tell is makeup. She do got ass, but... Let's not get distracted, brothers. Let's not get distracted. She looks wild too. Let's not get distracted, my brother. She looks crazy. And here she go again. We not here to see you, ma'am. She got three slides already. Who was that? She not bad. She not bad. She not bad. Uh, not my speed. Do she look darker in the face than everywhere else? Fuck, she was sticking her head out the, uh, the window all night? I mean, all day? She got a head tan. I never seen that before. This is straight head tan. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this time around we've got the ladies lined up. Make some okay, noise Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, y'all sound ready. That's good. That's good. So we're about to bring out some single men. They're gonna please don't be no wild ass niggas, bro. If he's your type, you're feeling him, you like what he's saying, all that good stuff. Do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that he said that you're like, ooh, red flag. This guy's not me. Go ahead. I hope it's a bum ass nigga. Go over to a few of you and see what's going on. Why ended up popping? Y'all ready? Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. Oh, damn. Oh. Have you hold that? What's your name? Oh, uh, my name is Theophilus Mason. No fucking way. Look at their face. She mad as shit. She still got the balloon? Nah. 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 First of all, the jacket is crazy. The jacket is crazy. With the loafers, he got sweatpants with loafers on. With the fake Versace suit. And he don't got no cut. Oh, that That's wild ass name. hairstyle. Uh, my name is Theophilus Mason. Theophilus? Yeah. Okay, and Theophilus, Theophilus? How old are you? I'm 29. 29, and what do you do? Um, I'm a chef. I create artworks and sell it too, and I also make beats and stuff. Oh, okay, nice, nice. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Well, mostly respect and somebody who's more like traditional. Okay. And stuff like that because for me, I'm mostly raised like a traditional man, but traveling around, that's what I always look for in a lady. Okay. Now that outfit right, is horrendous, so everybody. Did get Let's not. Ladies. Let's go over to some of these ladies and see what's going. Get off track okay. about that. <laughs> you have to All see right, the outfit. If we can have your name and age. Kevin, I'm 25. And Kevin. What type of fucking pants is this? 
What the fuck? Am I tripping, y'all? All right, if we can have your name and age. Pick one. 25. In heaven, what do you do? So I'm a designer. Uh, I do digital marketing, and I also am a part-time nurse assistant. All right, and now, heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I'm not intrigued. Mm. I don't want to be intrigued. Intrigued. I'm just not. I don't want to go into Ooh, she about to spike him. Respectful. I, I have made that. You look beautiful. Thank you. And yeah, I respect that too. Thank you. You look beautiful and I respect that too. What? You have your Nigga name just talking. Age. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. Damn. I'm Ashley, you what do you do? I am a model and model coach. Mm. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just wasn't, it just didn't immediately grab my attention. That's all. That's Bro, they be being too nice. <laughs> say what you gotta say. Yeah. I feel you look good too. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, and now is Ashley someone that's your usual type? Oh, uh, yeah, she's not bad, you know. Not she's bad. She's sizable, I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not bad. Not bad. I ain't going to lie, y'all. Saying not bad, a ugly bitch. Imagine an ugly girl telling you, ah, you not bad. Like, oh, that make you want to crash out a little bit, low key. Have your name and age. Just because. I'm Leah, I'm 28. And Leah, what do you do? I'm a labor and delivery registered nurse. And now, mm, why did you end okay. up popping your balloon? Um, I like to be obsessed with my man, and it's not giving obsessed. Mm. Jesus. Okay. What is it mm. giving? Um, not for me, but for somebody else. Mm. I respect that. You know, sometimes being obsessed leads to toxicity, so I understand that too. <laughs> but yeah, but she's she's good. Look. He trying to speak some fake ass knowledge, nigga. He think everything respect. He think everything respectful, nigga. Thinking, and I like her swag. <laughs> she could be. <laughs> He just trying to... <laughs> All right, if we can have your He's name. He's saying anything. Hi, my name is Sincere. I'm 27. And Sincere, what do you do? Ooh, she got that. Um, I work in finance and banking. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? He has great energy. I just believe in love at first sight, and I wasn't in love. Mm. Mm. Okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> was energy? there something like that, that was yeah. making you say it's not love? <laughs> he skipped past all the bad... You know? You know, you know. <laughs> I, I respect it. I like that too. Man. Bro, he respect everything, y'all. And he, he he skipped past all the bad stuff she just said, and she said nice energy. Like well, this nigga. Yeah, my yeah. energy be hitting the roof. Yeah, yeah that's I good. Like that too. Okay, thank you. If we can have your name and age. Uh, my name is Alexis. I am twenty nine. Alexis, what do you do? Um, I work in the finance industry. Mm, mm. <laughs> so why did you end up popping your balloon? He has like cool vibes, but I'm just not um, attracted to him. Mm. Respect that. You got a you got a nice, beautiful vibe to it as well. Thank so you. yeah, respectful. And now, is there anything in too particular nice. that you're not attracted to? Mm. You know, because I don't like to discriminate, if you will, but like you know, a little short. Oh little yeah. Short. But it's not even just that. It's just like <laughs> I don't even, like feel it like the aura like gravitate towards you. I'm not <laughs> gravitate, unfortunately. <laughs> She says it's not even just that. So, is she your type? Oh, she might. Yeah, she yeah. is. Oh. I, I like tall ladies. Okay. You know, but I understand when it comes to the height preference. I expect that too. That's what well. I prefer. Yeah. I've done it before, but just. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. He respect that too, huh? You can have your name and age. Angel, 23. And Angel, what do you do? Um, I'm in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Me personally, I just don't like dreads. I don't like like the like I don't know the, those are dreads, right? Hell yeah. Oh well. I'm surprised. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't like dreads, and and I like someone a little taller than me. I'm five five, but I heels. Uh, I respect the high side, but she don't like dreads. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Nothing's we, wrong with we, you. I we just, ain't got no wave. We are not in the wave ever no more. I no. did waves. I did braids, and now I'm doing dreads. He lying like shit. He lying never like did no like fucking waves, bruh. You know how I can tell? Them bitty beads on the side of his head, he capping out his ass, nigga. He ain't never had waves a day in his life, and I know that for a fact. He had a peasy bald head, nigga. He had a peasy bald head. He grew it out a little bit. He locked it up because that shit was looking nappy. Stop lying. Stop lying. Let's go back and hit his cap. But she don't like dress. I'm oh sorry. God. I'm sorry. Nothing's we, wrong with we, you. I we ain't got no wave. We are not in the wave ever no more. I did waves. I did braids, and now I'm doing dress. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I like that, you know. It's okay. I respect that, too. Yeah. You know? Now, how tall are you? I'm gonna say 5'6. Yeah, I'm 5'5. 
Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's well, go on over you. here. She looked that much taller with heels. Goddamn. My name is Alexis, and I'm 29. Alexis, what do you do? Uh, I'm a massage therapist. Yeah, now, why did we what? end up popping our Massage therapist. Um, so I love your aura. I love your vibe. Uh, I just I like to put my a little bit taller. Mm. Nothing personal. I love your. I love it. Massage love therapist. It. She be getting down. Is Alexis your type? Yes, she is. Okay, what makes her your type? Well, she got a beautiful smile. She's nice. She got swag. And I like my woman that can represent me when I step out because I like to look good. But the height stuff, this is what I can say. I didn't ask God. Why the fuck she do that with her face? <laughs> See that? Just, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. Look at her face, everybody. She give me like Michael Jackson vibes. I don't know why. The but look. Stuff, look. This is what I can say. I didn't ask God to create me. You seen that? I came the way I can. <laughs> but you know, I still make the best of what I can make with her. I respect that too. She is decent. Hershey Child. All the ladies look good, and I take your points of view. Let me see the experience. 2023? Yeah. Okay, so we do have an unpopped balloon mm. back here. All right, if we can have your name and age. My name is Sierra Karras, but I go by Sakari. Okay. And Sakari, what do you do? I am a travel nurse, and I also am a brand ambassador for Holistic Wellness. Okay. And now we see your balloon is still unpopped. So what is intriguing you? Why is your balloon still unpopped? Well, initially, just based off looks, like you're not necessarily like a type for me, but I like the fact that you said that you were a chef, and I just like your overall like energy. So, no, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to dick eat. I'm not going to dick eat. You know that's a wild looking male right there, and the outfit is horrendous. Everybody, pay attention. She still got her bone pop. I ain't going to dick eat him about it. He got a bitch right there. She got the balloon, but now you got to analyze what type of woman she is now. What's going through her mind? She said, you're not my type in the looks, but I like the fact you're a chef. I ain't gonna lie. Something not adding up. It's something we don't know about her. Let's keep an eye on her, y'all. Yeah, I just wanted to probably, like, you know, ask you a couple more questions. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure you can ask me. <laughs> you can ask me everything, and I really like that you kept your balloon, and I really like the. Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. He getting a little too happy. You see what he trying to do? He talking too much. You gonna fuck it up? I'm telling you, he getting too happy. He about to spill everything he got to say. You can ask me. Look. <laughs> you can ask me everything, and I really like that you kept your balloon, and. <laughs> I really like the point that it's not all about the looks, but more like the personality-wise. And I feel like maybe you're getting to know me more when we show you that, regardless of that, I can be more than anything else. So I'm yapping. Really he yapping. So you said you had some questions for him. You want to start off with the first question? Sure. So um, you say you're a chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm, she just want to so eat. So what are um, your favorite things to cook? So like for me, um, I was born in Liberia. I'm African, but I'm also British from my mom's side. I can cook anything, but I like my jollof rice. And okay. I know the Ghanaians be saying they like jollof. The best jollof is from Liberia, and we make it late. Okay. But yeah, I can cook anything. Give me the recipe, and I'll prepare it straight up. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm plant-based, so how do you feel about, mm. um, I guess, vegan life? Yeah, we can eat. I knew something was up. I knew something was wrong with her. She vegan. Her teeth a little wild, sticking out her... Sticking out her mouth, she looked like that duck off of uh, what's it called, Chicken Little. She looked like the duck off Chicken Little. She probably don't get no niggas. I'm gonna keep it about with her. She probably weird as shit. She probably pick up ladybugs and caterpillars and start like, yeah, you gotta peep it. She's a vegetarian, y'all. Let's see what else we can find about her. I tried vegan before, so when it comes to vegan, yeah, I can. Look at him. If you want vegan recipe, I'll prepare it exactly the way you like it. Mm. But yeah. Mm. Okay. Do, you, do you have any questions for her? Um, not really. Oh. I think if, if I have any other questions, it would be something I would get to know personally and I can ask. Because right now, she's a beautiful lady, oh. and I can see that she want to explore more, mm -hmm. and I'm willing to go there and venture more with her. Okay. So, okay. Okay, where are we popping? Oh, it's not expected. Um, it's just the 
I mean, I'm just not just what sees the eye. No! No! No, the fuck she didn't just do that to him. I knew, bro. Oh my god, he thought he had him one. He thought he had him one. She did the biggest pump fake in history. <laughs> no fucking way he got his dick hard and all that, bro. This nigga thought he had him one. And she laid him on so smoothly, too. It's about the food. It's about the food. I knew she didn't really fuck with him. Because if, if she did, then it had to be something wrong with her. It's no other way. She just did that nigga dirty. She knew from the jump he was ugly. And he 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 expressed his feelings and all that, didn't he? I love how you think you choose the personality over the facial. All that bullshit he said. Oh, my God. You asking me questions and me getting to know you is how I'm going to connect with you. So for you to just not ask me anything and just go based off looks, it just... No, it's not ba being based off looks. It's just like right now in the moment, like the, the questions to pop out is like, it doesn't really happen spontaneously. I just feel like within, like if we sit down and have questions and uh, sit down to talk to each other more, I feel like that that's when the question can come in. But in this time of right now, it's like... There's like a thousand questions, but I don't know which one to pick. It's like you're one in a billion, but then what type of question am I able to present to you? Well, I respect that, regardless if you pop the balloon or not. But I understand, if you want to still try to taste that jollof, <laughs> I can still make that happen. But I respect that too as well. Oh man, okay, she just played so with him. close. She just played with him. She looked at him, that's a few, how she looked at him a few good times that's, and said, nah, I'm gonna make an excuse, that's I need how to bail life out. Goes. You know, there's, there's situations sometimes you meet people in life mm -hmm. and you don't know the questions to ask because you're scared to ask the wrong questions. Yeah. So sometimes you want to, you know, take the time, like, a little time to marinate. He's still really explaining like, himself. Get that question okay. up. You know that's what I'm saying. All right. Well, well you are beautiful ladies. Look, look, look. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys found what you're looking for. Yeah. You know, maybe down the line someday you may see me. He's still like, fucking like, yapping. Rise and stuff like that. All right. Well, I All right. Thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. Right. He's still give it yapping. Up for him, oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, they done spanked him the worst way. He thought he was about to politic his way into some cheeks. No, sir. Not around here. It's like, when you when you look that down bad, bruh, it's no bouncing back, bruh. It's no bouncing back. I tried to give him some grace without ball biting him. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Hey. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Marvin. Marvin, how old are you? 30 years old. 30, okay, and what do you do? So I'm in the Air Force, I am an image consultant, and I also do personal training. Okay, all right, mm. busy man. That's analyzing. <laughs> and now, uh, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I mean, similar things, like I like a woman that is also in shape, that likes to value that. Um, has a good head on her shoulders, I know it's kind of vague, but you know, I feel like I kind of sense that vibe right uh, now. Okay. I'm scanning his badges, the way he talked, the way he looked in the face, he probably got bullied in school. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. He just so happened to have like a cool little glow up. That's one of the ones. That's what I'm analyzing, y'all. Okay, and what do you like to do for fun? Um, I mean, aside from working out, I like going outdoors. I like hiking. I like traveling, shopping. What well, black nigga hiking? So, I mean, that's just something I do. All that's right. Okay, cool. All right, so Marvin, as we see here, there are no balloons popped. I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the premise of the show. For a yeah, so now what's going to happen is I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. Come on now. I'm room for him, though. I'm room for him, though. We're not going to hate on our brothers. So for the first round, you know, it's going to be a little bit tough, but we're just going to have you pop two balloons strictly two. based off of looks. So you can go ahead and pop those two. And then I'll go ahead and ask who I got. Off of their look. He popping. He's gonna pop. He's gonna pop. Her. And her. Or. Her and her. One of you. It's gonna be these three. I feel like.
Oh, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that, but I was like, maybe he think her smile pretty or something. Yeah, I knew she was gone. Okay, let's I knew see she was here. gone. If we can have your name and age. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Damn, she's sick because she was doing all that. And, um, Marvin, why did you end up popping her balloon? <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, if I'm being shallow, it was the outfit. Mm. Yeah. I get you. We I get match, you. Though. We do match. <laughs> we could go out like now. <laughs> That's okay, Marvin. Something about her we don't know about, man. She look a little too manly in the face. I'm not gonna hold it. I'm gonna be the one who says she look manly. I ain't gonna lie. She'll scare me. She'll scare me a little bit. I don't know if it's them principal, the principal uh lines in her face. Okay. Go out like now. That shit scared me. <laughs> That's okay, Marvin. Okay, and now why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? He's in the Air Force. He likes to travel. I was gonna ask him if he had his passport and where he has been, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go into our next one over yeah. here. Yeah. We can have your name and age. Angel twenty three. Okay. And now yeah. Marvin, why did we end up popping Angel's balloon? Um. Nah, she looked drowsy. <laughs> In what way? What makes her not your type? Uh oh. Um, I guess, yeah, just didn't catch my attention, but. Um, I don't like it. Yeah, good save. Good save. And now, Angel, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? Oh, because I'm in the Air Force, too. So, really? I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Damn. Small what? world out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's trying to make him so, feel bad or something. You're still chopped, you baby. A few ladies still, still left. Did you have a question to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. Um, do you guys have children? Mmm. Okay. One, 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 so one, one. So are you one. up the number of children you have? Okay. Now, two. Two? Is that a deal breaker for you? It is. It is? Okay. Damn! That just eliminated. <laughs> she got a baby. All right, let's just go ahead and go over to some of those ladies. <laughs> you can have your name and age. My name is Sierra Karras, but I go by Sakari. I'm 30 years old. Okay. And Sakari, why did you- 31 kid, not about? bad. Um, he seems pretty well-rounded. Um, so I just gave it a shot. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Ashley, 29. And Ashley, why did you have She's your a flirt. for Marvin? Well, definitely very polished. He said he was an image consultant. He likes to shop, my model. It just kind of fit that way. But also intellectually, I feel like he has a good head on his shoulders, and that's something I'm kind of focusing on. Um, but I ended up popping because still for girls' kids. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. She remind me of like a <laughs> thank you a Chloe Bailey. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Leah. I'm 28 years old. Leah, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? He's very handsome. I love his teeth. I love, I'm a teeth person. Yeah. He has nice <laughs> lips as well. He's very fit. He's giving my type. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And now, is she your type? I know you said the kids are the deal breaker, though. But... Okay. okay. <laughs> and then right down over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age. Yes. Alexis, I'm 29. And Alexis, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? Because he's a good-looking gentleman. He seems like he has his head on it, um, his shoulders, and um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, Marvin, is she your type as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the dress. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we do why is she so happy? two balloons unpopped. Yeah. Did you have another question that you wanted to ask? The first the one, I bet. Let's narrow it down. Do you smoke? Okay, let's go over here. If we can have your mm, name. That's a great question, guys. That's a great question. And Heaven, his question was, do you smoke? No. Good. Let's go down over here. That just boosted her attributes up by 5%. Your name and age. Um, my name's Alexis. I'm 29. And Alexis, to answer his question, do you smoke? No. I have out before, yes, but do I not? Fuck the no. She lying like shit. She smiling like shit. She know when she get home. She know when she get home. She going doosh. Lay on her bed. Spark of her J and have Patron in her hand. She lying like shit. 
She with her home. Look, she looking at her like she know her. <laughs> she looking at her like they've been doing it together. <laughs> Stop lying, you. girl. I would say level-headed, so you know how to have a conversation. You don't jump to conclusions. You're able to actually have a, like if we have disagreements, we can actually go over those disagreements and not just be at each other. So I think that's a big thing. I'm a very big communication person, so I would say that's number one. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, communication is key, but you know, I would say like communication and comprehension because the person can communicate. I want to see her with him. I ain't gonna lie. So you have to be able to understand how to communicate. See. Go down over here. We'll be back for you, girl. <laughs> okay, did, Heaven, did you have a question for Marvin? What's your relationship with God? Mm. Um, I do not have a relationship with God. I would mm. say that because I mean, you're Christian. Yes. You are Christian. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm not Christian, but I do explore different religions, but I'm not attached to them. That's what you can do. Mm. Oh, I figured you'd be that was a good question by her, though. And I, I mean, you can't even hate about that. That's very important to me. That's there, up there. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. I respect it. That's, that's fair. Let's go down over here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Alexis? I heard you say a little something when he said he doesn't have a relationship with God. Is that something that's a problem for you? It's very important because, like, he's the one who leads the way. But I will say, though, like, I can't make you believe in God like that has to like you have to find him on your own but like having the conversations eventually if it happens you know it'll probably work if not you know I can't like force you to have a relationship that's between you and God but it's important okay is it a deal breaker oh Jesus mm. <laughs> only, only just because <sighs> hey you gotta stick to you gotta stick to your rules out baby yeah you almost made it. <laughs> Damn. It's all good. So you said you it's explore. What what does that mean? Um, so like this month for instance, so right now Ramadan's being celebrated. Um, and so that's something that I've been looking into because I do like the idea of fasting from different things that uh, just aren't good for you, you know. So I don't necessarily have an attachment to any religion. If it has something that I guess uh, I mean that's all personal beliefs. But I vibe with then I'll do it. I ain't gonna lie. Her aura in the back. So you know, like, she's standing out out of everybody. I ain't gonna lie. I will say with Christianity. So I grew up Christian, and I went to a Catholic school, but it was really rough for me. So I think it's kind of like a childhood kind of thing. So that's why I'm not really gravitating towards Christianity because as a kid it was just rough. You know? Well, you know what? Me popping the balloon that probably was my fault because I probably should have engaged more. Um, Sorry. Because my father's side, like majority is. Muslim. And they're going through Ramadan right now. I've actually like studied it and I have a Quran as well. But you could have taught me. You know, touch a little razzle dazzle, but you know, it's, it's not over. <laughs> but I just, I just want to, you know, make sure that like, you have to understand that he is the one and the only one. That's it. So, with him being open-minded to that, is that still something that's a deal breaker for you? Oh, are we getting that balloon? Okay. Back? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me bring you up. So she did all that yapping for nothing. I'm gonna keep it a buck. That shit almost put me to sleep. That shit almost put me to sleep. She did a whole 360 for no reason. <laughs> Alright, so Marvin says she is open minded to it. Did you all have any final questions for one another before we determine if this is a yes? So, is it going to be a yes for you for him? I would say he already is. Yes. Okay, yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a man! She don't, he don't fuck with her. He don't even fuck with her. Like, look at his face, y'all. All right, I'll take this Just take a look at his face, bro. What's going on? He do not fuck with her like that, bro. His head is low. He didn't even smile. I didn't even see his teeth that whole time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Let's see what nigga next, bruh. Take this. <laughs> Welcome in. What's your name? Phantom? My name is Maurice. Maurice? Yeah, but I go by poet. By poet? Yeah. Okay, how old are you? Poet, 25. 25, and what do you do? Uh, I make music full time. I'm a model. I also do videography. 
-hmm. And I also, what is it called? I do traveling full time too. Okay, all right. And now, poet, what do you look for in a woman? Um, Those earrings are a little crazy. Someone that is adventurous. I like um, a person who's intelligent that understands what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, someone that has a connection with God. Um, who's into traveling. Someone who's, matter of fact, that actually really has a purpose too. That actually cares about it. Okay. So okay. Did get a Good little combo. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Most of them kept the balloons, y'all. Does weight not matter? All right. If we can have your name and age. Yes, Alexis. I'm 29. Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, you're a very handsome gentleman. I love the fit. I love your energy as well. Um, just physically not my type. Mm, big boy. Oh, she don't like big boy. Physically, um, what is your usual type and what is your fault? Um, athletic. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and now, <laughs> he said that's far from me. Is this your type? Um, uh, He's about to scratch his head. It's like I, I mostly go with energy. So. Um, the athletic thing, no, I don't know. I've done actually three different types of sports in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why do these big niggas keep capping? And wh every time somebody capping, she know she look a certain way and her nose swell up. Bro, you gotta pay attention. Look at this shit. Look. The athletic thing, no, I am athletic. I've done I did three different types of sports in high school. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> right, I like that. Y'all should all pop that Thank balloon you. for fucking Let's capping out the ass. Talking about athletic. You used to be athletic. If we can have your name and age. My name is Heaven, I'm 25. And Heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? You're very well spoken, you are attractive. It's just, I don't feel like we would be a connection. Mm. What makes you feel that way? Sorry. Just off of, based off of just attraction level. Mm. Like that. Now, Poet, is she your um, respectfully, no. Mm. Why not? Um, oh, my fault. Maybe, I guess, just a tiny bit too much makeup. If you mm. just come as you are, then that's, that's valid. Yeah. Okay. That's valid. Right. Okay, that's valid. so we do still have five balloons unpopped. Thanks. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So I'm going to have you hold this. And <laughs> did you have a question for the ladies to help you narrow it down? <sighs> um, what well, is no. like a purpose that you have inside of your life? What do you want to do? All right, let's start right over here. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Sakari. I'm 30. Um, a purpose. I mean, I feel like that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> He asked one simple ass question. What's the purpose in your? You're 30 years old. You gotta have something, some motion going on. You got to to survive. You gotta have something going on. If you can't name at least one little thing, that's kind of crazy. She gave you that blank, that that duck off of uh 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 chicken little. To <laughs> inspire others. To touch others in some sort of way. I think my purpose here the fuck is you talking about? literally to make someone else's life better, it advance more, just, yeah. That's a dumb ass answer. Cause she not even explaining. You should have said explain more. Look at her face, her drowsy eyes. Look, she knew she said something retarded. Look. <laughs> age and the answer to his question. She recovered a little bit. She was about to sound just as dumb as the other one. Okay. Name, age, and? Uh, my name is Leah. I'm 28 years old. 
Um, well, I'm currently at L&D RN, and I want to become a midwife, and I really want to... I don't know what that is. ...serve the black community, um, because I see how they get treated in mm. the healthcare system, and it's just not giving, and I want to be the one that is giving. That's one of my purposes. Okay. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Um, I think my life's purpose is to give off good energy. Sometimes there's like people that intentionally are put on this earth to drain you that are just like vampires that suck the energy. And I just feel like I can transfer that to people. So they're always happy. Okay. I guess she do smile a lot. My name is Angel. I'm 23. Um, I'm currently in the military. So I feel like my purpose is what I'm doing right now to serve the country. Um, she scared me. I would like to be uh, OBYGN. I would like to help like deliver babies or work with children. I love kids, you know, help with kids that might be in a foster home or something like that. You know, just give them a place to stay or you know whatever I can to like help out in the community. All right, cool. poet. Those are some cool. good answers. That was, that was a good answer. That was, so, a better, that was probably the best answer. Salute popping based off of what you've heard um let's go ahead and have you pop one mm -hmm. all right let's see who's gonna pop it's I probably the, i mean she's smiling like too hard bro answer because mm -hmm. i do really care about um like for me like i i make music mm -hmm. so i want to genuinely i want to change like the world and actually have an impact that can actually do something mm -hmm. so uh, Okay, this is probably one I'm gonna pop. Yeah, mm. go for it. Mm. So mm. I knew it was gonna be her. She smiled too fucking much. Okay. Okay, so you ended up popping this she one. Way too fucking bubbly. I guess the answer. And no, it was her face. Because I mean, I guess for being just spreading good energy is to be like a natural thing. And the one thing that I kind of do with my music, I really, I don't know. I want to. Be Bruh, he think he people Drake or something. Basically. I respect that. <laughs> and now, why did you have your balloon and popped for poet? He's very calming, and I'm big on energy. From the moment he walked in, like I just felt calm, and I like to be at peace with people. And I feel like I could just like be under you all day. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Something we don't know about her, bro. She, I ain't okay. gonna lie. Ladies, does any one of you have a question for him? Just picture her. Just picture her though. Just picture, picture her, her when her hair not done. Her hair not gonna be done twenty four seven. Just picture her with her hair not done. Wake up in the morning. Good morning, baby. That's how I look like you sound. And in my line, I ain't gonna lie. And did she smile all day? Okay, ladies, does any one of you? You get your ass whooped on two K. She come in. How's everything going? I ain't gonna lie. I have a question for him. Just because you've mentioned music more than your other things that you've mentioned, what kind of music do you make? Right. Um, well, what genre, what type of thing do you talk about? Okay. Um, I'm kind of like multifaceted, so I want to be able to do, well, right now I actually do R&B, hip-hop, so like I try to get into conscious stuff as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I mostly share the way how I feel through my music mm -hmm. and the way that the world is I like to be able to really spread awareness about the, how things are actually really going because nowadays like we talk about like different type of wars and different stuff that's going on like it's just another day but it's as valuable as this moment right here so I guess I like introspective emotional connections you know I like that's what I like that's how I music that's all I have. Just... Anyone else? Well, Anyone all he just said, I don't know, no music. Right, so like, poet, what's, I don't even know what they expect questions. from his music. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, do you have any kids or no, anything like that? Okay. I have no kids. No kids. All right. Oh, we got a question right over here. Mm -hmm. So, what is, does the jury that you wear like in your ear or um, in your hair mean anything or is it just kind of like aesthetic? Um, no, I'm like a, I'm more of a like a spiritually in tune person. So like I like to express how my soul is through like my 
aesthetic is like bro what the fuck this nigga talk about bro like what type of nigga is he what do you mean by spiritual so like i care about having a personal connection with god okay and i don't uh i like to pursue him personally so what the fuck they gotta do with your earrings outside influence i was doing that when i was a younger kid but i like to actually have like my personal in-depth Bro, who the fuck did this nigga think he is? Like, I'm confused what type of nigga he is. Like, he's saying all this spiritual, intellectual, all these big ass words. I'm trying to understand him, bro. Like, <laughs> this shit throwing me off. Like, he must be the purest nigga in the world or something. Okay. I like the hell of Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, and now, what made you ask that question? He didn't even are answer the fucking question. Are you a religious person or are you also spiritual? I, I'm more. I guess on the religious side, but I understand you when you say that you, you know, you need to be kind of connected with God. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess like this is probably going to be a deal breaker because you just like associated like your jewelry, like you know, with God, and no, I just don't. Personal, it's my personal expression. So my personal expression, God made every person inside of His likeness, and so my personal expression and my spirituality, it. I'm showing my spirit through who I am as a person. What the fuck does that got to do with your earrings? You can have, I don't like go against any other person's religion. What the fuck does that got to do with your earrings, bruh? I just like to have a personal connection. Because I've not been through that. So you said, I'm sorry, hold on. So you said that was a deal breaker for you? I just, I just don't. And she dumb as shit because she going, to, she, she going with it too. He just said a whole bunch of yabba dabba do shit. And she said, oh, oh, okay. Oh, Nigga, she just. just it. I'm trying to like correlate. Like, he said bullshit. You got it. <laughs> That's why. Let me ponder. Okay. okay. Yeah, you gotta, you want to be right. pondering for a minute because he didn't say shit. Um, God, but God is God to whoever. Yeah, but like, do you, is it Jesus Christ? Or mm-hmm. is it just, you know, the gods of this world? Um, I'm the type of person that I don't like to push upon a name or anything. If I don't know anything, mm. at the same time, if I don't know the, like, I like to go into backgrounds. I like to learn about different backgrounds of different religions and the way that some of them are actually based upon i rather have a connection that's solely he will speak to me he will show me how. this nigga rambling bro i'm trying to catch this fucking drip i can't catch this drip he pissing me off he not saying nothing he's saying straight bullshit and and, and and it's fucking with my mind bro he going loops after loops after loops and he going right back to the same statement that it's spiritually connection Bro, what the fuck is he talking about, bro? She said, what is your God? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? He went on a whole ramble about different religions. do 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 whoop 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 Nigga, answer the fucking questions, nigga. Answer the fucking question. You pissing me off. The fuck wrong with this nigga? So why did we end up popping? Um, I think you're very calming. I kind of want you to put me to sleep because your voice <laughs> is just very soothing. Uh, that's a crazy and I statement. I love that. Thank you. Handsome. But um, I'm on my own journey mm-hmm. um, with God currently mm-hmm. and God only, nobody else. So the mm-hmm. fact that you kind of said otherwise what? What was mean? just not for me. What do you mean by that? Because you were more so like, um, I just kind of dip into different religions. Like, I'm not dipping into no, anything. No, I learn about different religions. That's how I actually got to the place that I am right now. I learned about different religions, and I've taken on the actual, like, identity of trying to get to know him himself. That's it. You didn't say that shit, nigga. Stop switching up the words. He never said that. I swear to God he never said that, bruh. He never said that. He said he, he learned about different religions. He didn't say none of that about, he didn't say nothing about Jesus, bruh. He ain't never say nothing about that. And he still didn't say the man's name. Dipping and diving into different religions. The fuck's he talk about? <laughs> okay, <thank you>. <laughs> <laughs> and why did we end up popping? <laughs> um, because yeah, I'm really big on God. Yeah. I'm really big on the Lord. I was raised up in the church. I sung mm-hmm. in the choir. I praised dance. Mm-hmm. So when you said that, it threw me off a little bit too. 
Like I respect it by all means. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own, you know, who they serve. But mm -hmm. personally, I serve one God. I serve one too. But trust Amen. Me, at the end of, at the you end didn't of say who. Like, I don't shame anybody. I don't, right. I, I don't like have no setting against anything anyone else believes. But I believe that there's a lot of different things that's happening from different types of religions. And to have real respect to the true God, I want to have that connection with him. Who is him? And I know that I'm not going to cap. For me to be put out, off of religion is crazy. It's <laughs> not crazy. <laughs> You're rambling. You have I mean, to like, understand, I understand, though. Understand, I, know, I completely understand it, but it's the one thing is I show respect to other people's religions. And right. I actually show respect to the fact of you do whatever. Right. Feels great to you, but at the end of the day, I have my connection with the higher power, so I understand. Who's the higher power? I understand that, and you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Like you're so, he is calm. He's very calm. But I'm from, I'm from Georgia, and no, in the right. South, that's where I was raised up. Mm -hmm. So it's like, religion is a big, big thing. So, I so you. like I, you know, I really I'm not perfect. I, no, no, no. Trust me, I'm, I'm far from perfect as well, and I guess. I guess the one thing that I don't have, I guess, the, the type of words to be able to put upon against this situation mm -hmm. is just more of the fact that I respect and acknowledge and at the same time give the grace and respect to what people believe in. I understand. What I'm saying is this. Throughout every person's perspective, kind of how I feel about how, like, I have... Nigga trying to reword the same thing five times! Now I'm just saying, because like for me, it's it's really personal. Because like I've went, I literally have like went through the dirt and mud, and my whole life has been up down. I've. This nigga spilling his feelings. Is he talking about how he talking about how he grew up? She asked you one question. She asked you one question. You haven't said Jesus yet. You keep saying higher power, nigga. We don't even give a. Fuck no more. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. They pop their balloons. You rambling, bro. You're rambling, Phantom. You're rambling. Oh my fucking god. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, you're not redeeming yourself. You putting your, you saying the same thing over and over and over again. And it sound dumb as shit. Could you still have to say Jesus, bro? You saying bullshit, bro? I'm about to smack you. In, in a way. Not to be too truthful or anything. Mm -hmm. I've been homeless for like six years. Mm -hmm. Like I've Fuck out of here. This nigga talk about he homeless. Is he talking about he was homeless? What the fuck is he talking about? So much trials and tribulations and the connections that I've made. I went through different churches. I went through different type of religions to try to find out a way how to be able to come back and actually understand certain things. And the one thing is... I feel like God has had a time to be able to talk to me and tell me the one thing you should do is stop worrying about what, how you're getting to him is just speak to him in general. Right. What Not the them fuck them is you talking about? It's whatever you feel, but at the end of the day, it's like, I love the connection that I have. He gave me the blessing to be able to be right here today. So it's like, I respect every single- Amen, person. get the fuck! And the people that helped me to get onto this thing. I legitimately, I will not tarnish anybody else's connection or go against. You said people. that, nigga. We don't. So that's why I feel like at the end of the day. Stop talking. All right, well, poet, that's all the balloons popped. So I'm so yeah. sorry we weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. No, of course. Thanks. All right, ladies, let's give it up for him. Somebody give him a friend. Somebody give him a fucking friend. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Oh, Tom, man, I can't wait. I ne this is the most excited I've ever been to try to see another nigga go pose. Ahead, go ahead. Oh, no. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> well, welcome in. We'll have you take this. <laughs> How the fuck you put up to the scene like that? That nigga look like Chris Middleton. Well, welcome in. We'll have you take this. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Cedric. What was that? Cedric. Cedric. How old Cedric. Are you? I just turned 31. 31. Okay. And what do you do? 
I'm a sports agent and I work in sports media. He got his list. Oh no. Good quality. Bro, 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 bro. The shoes. You can tell he a unk. He's a fucking unk. He thought he put that shit on too. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's a fucking unk. Then you know he don't got that many button ups. You know he don't. Why the fuck would you put that outlandish fit on? That was the only button up in his closet. He tried to match it with the only his freshest, cleanest shoes that he had, and he just threw on a pair of pants. This shit is outlandish. These niggas need to be locked up. Um, you know, high value woman, pretty much. Um, like, as long as she can clean, pretty much. Um, everything else, I can pretty much manage. All right, cool. As long so as she can fucking a clean. Let's go over there and see what's going on. Okay. All right, if we can have your Why name. Why the fuck you keep looking at me like that? <laughs> All right, if we can have your name, age, and why you ended up popping your Can you hear me? Angel is 23. It's just um the attraction. I, I was just not attracted. Yeah, you look wild. That's great. And is there anything that in specific? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. It's just overall. I just wasn't attracted. Mm-hmm. That's great. Mm-hmm. All right, and now is she your type? You, what you looking back at? Man. <laughs> what does that mean? Nah. I'm just saying, like. Oh, sorry. Like. Are you attracted to me? You are. It seems like you're. No, you cool. Like. <laughs> I know exactly what he was thinking. He was thinking she ugly as shit, but wait. That's what he said in his head. But wait. Let me see. You ugly as shit, but wait. And then she got a head of herself. That's what happened. She got a little bit too cocky and hit herself. She tried to step out her position. She tried to step out her boundaries. In his head, he like, damn, she ugly as shit, but her ass. She said, oh, you you like me, huh? He said, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, whoa, 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 so let's throw it down there. You cool. Hey, hey, I know exactly. Just look. Oh, sorry. Like. <laughs> are you attracted to me? You are. Huh? It seems like you're. No, you cool. Like, <laughs> you ain't. Like, you don't look bad. <laughs> so, it's a yes or no question. Are you attracted or you are not? No, you, you cool. Like, I would talk to you, but like, I wouldn't take it, like, serious. All right. Friends on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go right over here. <laughs> if we can have your name, age, and why you ended up calling. Um, I'm Leah, I'm 28. Um, <laughs> the fact that you kind of just told her that you'll talk to her, but you want to take her serious, oh. it's like, it's kind of like your agenda is not very clear. What? That was the most clear as you can get, lady. What the fuck are you talking about? That's true emotion, true feelings. He didn't sugarcoat it or nothing. I would talk to you, but I wouldn't take you serious. That's the most clear you can get, lady. They want us to sweet talk them. They want us to go beat around the bush, simplify shit. No, you're ugly. You're chopped. You're not the one. That's what girls need to hear. What the fuck? tired of this shit man let him talk bro i fuck with him it's like it's kind of like your agenda is not very clear and i want somebody who's clear about me oh he gonna be clear <laughs> all right and now is she your type yeah what makes her your type she look good she look nice <laughs> he looked down again right, cool okay your name age and why you ended up popping your balloon i'm sakari i'm 30 and um yeah it was just the you know you you looked straight behind that that was the first thing and you was just like um <laughs> bro but you gotta see the parameters she don't understand the parameters bro she don't understand the parameters of the situation bro he was faced up with a wild ugly fat butt joint that's how you gotta assess shit bro she not gonna do that for every girl bro it's just specifically for, for those attributes. That player build. You gotta do that. Yeah. She don't understand. Cool. Like, nobody gonna look behind and see what you got. You can just tell. All right, and now, is she your type? Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Okay, so what makes her your type? I mean, 
she look good. Like she, she look nice. He didn't even look look. He didn't even look at the butt. No nah, respect. No, nah, she look nice for real. Real talk. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so nah, Cedric, she look wild. you do still have three unpopped balloons. Okay. Did you have a question to ask the ladies to help you narrow it down? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Can you clean your kids? Mmm. Good question. All three, y'all. Damn. How many kids y'all got? Okay, let's start right here. Yeah. I'm surprised right. she kept the balloon. Yeah, She's number one option. Answer to this question. The fuck? 29, I have two. You got two kids? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> How many kids you got? All right, hold on, hold on. Respect, he got the number one option up there. The answer to this question. My name is Sincere. I'm 27. I have one kid. Why are you looking at my... I'm just, I'm, I'm looking. Because you're a wild, ugly joint. He trying to see. They not understanding. You look wild in a face. You look like a man. Mini Shannon Sharp. And look, you got to see, bro. You like a cool, like, five in the face. You might can get away with six with some people. Because your teeth not, not wild looking. You got a nice smile. You might can get away. But you got to find something good in you. If you're just going off looks, you can't see nothing, bro. You can't. They don't understand that, bro. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking. He analyzing, bro. He didn't see what he needs right. to see in the face. He got to go down. My name's Alexis. I'm 29, and I have two kids. Okay, and now, Cedric, are kids a deal breaker for you? No, I'm just, you know, I'm just asking. Okay. I'm asking you know what I'm so do you have any kids? Yeah, I got one. He has one kid. Yeah, I got one, you know. I'm just asking a question, like how many kids they got. That's all. Okay. All right. Okay. So do. All right. She's now, ladies, she's still doing her eyes like this. Fuck wrong with her. So uh oh. Ahead. You know she gonna ask. Simple question. You say you in sports, right? Yes. Okay. So what kind of sport is it? Football, basketball. Basketball. Okay. Yeah, mostly. Travel a lot. Uh yes, I travel a lot. I do. Okay. Is that concerning? Should that be concerning? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Not Nothing. It's just very basic questions. Okay. That's all. She still got the bubble. Oh, no. no. Okay. Let's go right down here. Where do you currently live? Mm. I live downtown. Phoenix. Phoenix? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you asked that because I guess because of traveling? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I live downtown Phoenix. Okay. So, I guess I'll go ahead and ask the ladies a question for you. All right. All right. So, ladies, what would you say is your best characteristic? I hate dumbass questions like that, bro. Best characteristic? I don't know. My character? I am really, really sweet. I am very open-minded to a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean I take bull crap. It is what it is. But I think just because I'm genuinely caring thoughts and processes yeah. i feel like these those that question name three three character traits you you you'll give yourself like bro those type of questions is so biased because you going to say something good for yourself like you're going to have to say something good you could be capping out your ass that's not the true that's not the true you so it's not even like it's no point like she, she's in too hard bro i feel like people gravitate towards me naturally when <laughs> look at his face, look at his face. <laughs> he said that shit cap. Um, <clears throat> I have to say my empathy. I've been through a lot, so I'm very understanding. All right, Cedric. So based off those those responses, nah, she that weird you thought, to me. I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop one of the ladies' balloons. She's still fucking smiling. Thank you. I'm gonna hand that over to you. You said pop. Yeah, so you're nah. going to go ahead and pop one of the ladies' balloons based off of the answers that you've heard so far. So which one out of the three are you feeling the least? If you pop the, if you pop the black one in the middle, that's crazy. I mean, that's what I expect. <laughs> but that means she done for. She can't say nothing about nothing no more. Anytime you're ready. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to choose wisely. Okay, yeah. Choose wisely. They're good options. I don't blame you. Bro, look at the lineup, my guy. Or if you have, no, actually, I'm gonna make you pop. We'll have an answer once you pop. We'll have, have you ask a question once. Bro, you pop. don't sell. Don't do no goofy shit, bro. Go ahead. This is an obvious pick, bro. Good 
Come on, Cedric. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pop her. Okay. All right. So okay. I'm going to popping hers. Nah, she look good. It just, you know. I'm just... <laughs> yeah. Who just popped it? Who just popped it? Nah, she popped it. Yeah. Who popped it? No! What? What did he say? What the fuck did he say? He didn't even say nothing. Wow. Is she following the crowd, bruh? Is she just following the crowd? No, bruh. Don't do that to him. He just sold all three in one take, bruh. I knew it. It's, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She popped. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, but respect. But no, she look good. You know, it's just out of them two. More of your type. More of my type. Exactly. Okay. If, if that makes sense, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. Why, Why the fuck they pop it? I don't feel like he can carry a conversation. It's always respect. She looks good. Please give me more. I want to talk to you and get to know you as a person. Mm. And I feel like you're a little bit. <laughs> Shallow, just a little bit. Mm. You won't stop staring at my boobs, for one. I ain't even staring at your boobs. I'm... Know your place, lady. Know your place. He's not going to look at you in the face. You look like a man. Know your role. And you getting ahead of yourself because I doubt if he even looking that way that many times, bro. She just trying. Like, he, she looking, looking dead in his eyes just to try to catch him slipping, bro. Get off my guy. Let him rock. He need to analyze your build, bro, because your face not hitting on shit past the seven. Shit past the six point five. You gotta let him analyze other shit. Come on now. Okay, but I've seen you go like this a couple of times, more than I mean, once, more I'm than once, more than once. Okay, that's a little shallow for me, sweetie. Uh, he want you anyway, for real. Let's give it a buck, but you lost LeBron right Respect. there. Oh my God, you lost LeBron. Thank you. Okay. All right, Ashley, why did we end up popping? Um, I ended up popping one, like the responses. I did want to hear a little bit more to kind of get my brain Follower. Kind of feed off of, but it just wasn't anything for me to kind of gravitate to, so that's fine. Damn. Fuck. All right, Cedric, that's all the balloons pop. Fuck, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thank all you. right, ladies, let's give it up for him. Take that. Man. <laughs> They did, my man's wrong, All right, let's go ahead bro. and bring out our next single guy. He did have that wild ass fit on. Next guy, next guy. Head on over here. <laughs> Welcome in, what's your name? What type of... I go by B. B right. What type of motherfucking fit? Look at her face. <laughs> Why don't she just pop her balloon, bro? She do that to every nigga that look wild, bruh, but she never pop her balloon off rip, bruh. That's funny as shit. Everybody take a screenshot of his face, bruh. That's funny. <laughs> hey. Handsome is my IG. Okay, B. You look homeless. What the fuck? Hey, these not the true dreadheads, bro. These, these like the Bob Marley type dreads. The Lord. He look like he do like, what's it called? Like a, a painter type dreads, you know? And what the, what type of fit is that? He got a... Inspector Gadget How button down on what well, is that blue paint? Okay, and now what do you nah. do? Nah, <laughs> um, I'm a food advocate. Mm. Um, I sell food to local restaurants and residents, mm -hmm. do a little bit of real estate. Um, I travel and I invest. Oh. Shit, it's very simple. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and now what do you look for in a woman? Um, I definitely look at their toes. <laughs> Um, what the fuck did he just say? She asked this man, "What do you look for in a woman?" He said, "I def I look at her toes." Oh my fucking god! First of all, toes is insane, bro. Ain't no such thing as. Uh, I definitely look at their toes. Good feet. Um, I look for their vision. I look for their support system. What does that look like in real time? I also look at. What are you looking for in a man? Are you looking for the superficial? Are you looking for the real? Are you looking for a check? Are you looking for the husband? I mean, those things all matter. So, yeah, I want to hear what you got to say. Nah, you threw me off with the toes, bro. Of course, I'm not. Just or either. 
perform. There's no such thing as good toes, bro. Okay, feet so is feet. They can only be bad. Let's go ahead and go on over there and see what's <laughs> going on. Come on over here, but let's go see. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Sincere. I'm 27. And I just feel like we just wouldn't match as far as energy. I feel like you have a foot fetish a little bit. Yes. Um, yes. And that's okay. You it's know, not okay. My feet aren't going to be perfect, though. I do have, you know. Your feet are cute. Oh, Good. thank you. Zoom in. So nice. What the fuck? Bruh. Fuck out of here. She felt, she popped it because she felt offend, uh, offended because her toes look wild as shit. What the fuck type of toe is that? Am I tripping? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Them toes look nasty as shit, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. And you popped it because you thought your feet weren't bad. You good, right? Well, you just only wanted to talk about feet. It's the weird flag for me. What? Yeah, just a little bit. Hey, I think what the that fuck? if your shoes and your feet look good, then your, you know, your mindset can kind of correlate. So, I respect that. I appreciate it. It's cool. That's the dumbest shit that he ever said. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a step back, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm everywhere right now. But you, you gotta, you gotta, we gotta analyze this shit. Let's go back a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. Just look. I'm just trying to analyze. Because she was wrong and he was wild. And this, they keep going back and forth. Competing with each other about the dumbest shit. She said, he said, the only thing he was talking about was feet. He only said feet one time. But that feet thing that he said was wild as shit though so he's a wild as a man to even mention toes for that question then she said it because her feet was fucked up herself like they black and ass she like i ain't gonna lie those look wild maybe because i don't know well, you just only wanted to talk about feet it's the wrong for me. yeah just a little bit hey i think that if your shoes and your feet look good then you your mindset can kind of correlate. That's the dumbest shit you can ever say. First of all, he didn't even ignore the fact that she was completely wrong. If he would have debunked what she said, I would have been like, all right, bro, this nigga know what you're talking about. He going, he going, he going to debate about it. He going to go back with her. His comeback was, oh, I feel like if your toes look good and your, and your shoes nice, that means your mindset is good. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, dumb as shit. Everybody should have popped their balloon. Okay, Cooper. Well, shit. Maybe I need to arf. Maybe I need to... <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to arf a little bit. That shit, fuck with me. But yeah, I, I respect it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. he just got me too. Yeah. All right, yeah. now, is she your type? My dog. Um, I think that I don't necessarily have a type. I think I'm more into the mental and mentality. So the fact that you can express yourself, yeah. I fuck with it. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, so we do still have some unpopped balloons. Did you that have a question a to encounter. ask the ladies to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Um, as far as the ladies in real time, by uh, in real time, nigga, it's so life. Is, what the fuck you plan, As opposed to five years, if you could see yourself with a man in two years, what does that really look like? What do you want from him? What do you see from him? All right, let's start right okay. here. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. Nice outfit. My wow, name is Sakari. I'm 30, and in two years, like, dating a man, I would expect some sort of um, commitment because it's been two years. Um, so um, definitely um, just seriousness, um, moving toward marriage and growing families and businesses and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How old are you? I'm 30. I like your style. You're serious, too. You're genuine and very genuine. Lady. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. And I would say two years regarding a relationship because I'm really big on building my brand and my business right now. I'm modeling. Um, definitely someone that is okay with being a partner individually and with myself. So, hey, we're on this business run together. That's what it is. True. You know, also, just having that relationship with God too. So I also bro, let's not bring that shit up, bro. Have our peace and we can kind of separate. That shit traumatized me. Just, just ourselves. <laughs> okay. If we can have your name, bro. She looked like a monkey from every. <laughs> she looked like a monkey from every from every angle, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> answer to his question. My name is Lee. I'm 28. And within two years, I definitely want to be married. I kind of know what I want. Um, 
I know a man wants to knows that he wants to marry you within six months. To be honest, and I'm a firm believer on that. Um, so six within months? two years, That's definitely, crazy. I'm looking for a proposal nah, at least. Um, you said what? Two years, definitely, I'm looking for a proposal, and I'm a firm believer on that. Um, so within two years, definitely, I'm looking for a proposal at least. Um, at least. And I'm, I'm pretty firm on it. Two Count years. I live. Two years? Two years and you gotta propose? I don't know about that one. Two years go by quick as shit. You might have a laugh, good time, few dates. You know what I'm saying? A year go by quick. Two years? You probably talked about it. But I don't think nobody proposing right away in two years. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of like. A little quick. In a what? <laughs> he know what he's talking about. All right. He asked a great you question right there, bro. You got to analyze question. everything. Angels 23, can you repeat your question, please? Um, as opposed to a five-year plan, I'm thinking about a two-year plan. What are you looking for? What do you see? And then as far as the man that you're looking to court or to have court you, what do you want out of him? Great questions. I see your relationship. Um, what does serious mean? As, yeah, in we're, as in we're building towards a marriage. I don't Already wish to be dating just to date. I want to build a foundation. Oh, I mean, yeah, eventually, yeah, but you, you know what I'm saying. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't have kids. How old are you? I'm 23. Oh, kids. Yes, I do. What's your name? Angel. Angel. Where you from? Georgia. Okay. Yeah, no, I love it. I appreciate it. I can accept it for sure. Let's do it. Okay. Let's your do name, it. Name, age, and the answer to his question. My name's Alexis, I'm 29, and I would um, expect to be, say we started dating at this point, um, I'd expect at least an engagement, like, to be honest. At this point, years. meaning within if the we started, two year mark, you're saying within two mm -hmm. years, you expect to be engaged? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Hypothetically, well, I don't get a chance to think about this, in two years, within that two years, what do you hypothetically expect to bring to the table? Mm -hmm. To the Okay, got a man, he's decent, he's making a little bread, He not down on his luck. You're also meeting him in the middle. What do you expect to bring to the table? <laughs> her eyes got wild when she said to the middle. <laughs> Look at her. Uh, they don't like that word. Meeting him in the middle. 50, 50. What do you expect to bring to the table within two years? If anything at all, and if it's nothing, then that's okay. Yes, so I believe I am the table. So. Man, fuck out of here, bro. You are the table. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, oh my fucking god, that's the dumbest, bro. Oh my god, I feel like I heard that before for sure. That shit, dumb as shit. You are the table. What bitch? <laughs> what bitch? Sorry, sweet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Table. Like I said, I appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you, ladies. So you wanted to ask that question to the rest of the ladies? Or? Uh, I mean, I gave uh, kind of a table for thought for folks to chew on if they have a response. I like how you just left that right there. Because you are the I'm table. in this you for response? nothing okay. else but the answers and the responsibility of it, which is, who are you in real time? <laughs> what you bring to the table? I am the table. What the fuck? Everybody got to bring something to the table, right? So I definitely bring food. Maybe I bring you food make the table. to the table. Maybe no. you make the table. I bring food to right? the table. Okay. You cook. Okay. Shit. Yeah. No, it's 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 deeper than That's cooking. It? It's it's nutrition. So I'm I'm big on what I'm cooking and preparing for my family. Gotcha. Yeah. Is she talking about a is she thinking about a dinner table or something? What do you bring to the table? You can cook? Okay. Right. Oh okay, that's that's cool. But they're not really saying nothing like Love it. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. That's cool. All right. So, based off of those responses you heard, if I can have some toothpick, I'm going to pass this on over to you. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's switched on over to you. He got to pop that, you that girl so down far, here. I'm going to have you pop two balloons of the ones who you weren't really feeling all that much. Two balloons. <laughs> I gotta pop two. Gotta pop two. Oh shit! <laughs> you popped yours already, baby. So. Damn. Damn. 
this shit before. <laughs> <laughs> that means he was trying to pop hers again. He slipped with the words. I don't like y'all. This is not cool. I, I gotta choose? You gotta choose? Yes, nigga. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Can I ask a question? All don't right. Question. Go for it. Go for it. Ask a question. <laughs> hey, y'all think I'm playing. What is cognitive dissonance? Cognitive dissonance. Fuck. What is what the fuck? This is not a fucking math. This is not an English class. What are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Even she don't even know what that what the fuck that means. She don't even know what that means. Does he even know what that means? He just pulling shit out his ass. That mean to you? Cognitive dissonance. What does that mean? What? Nah, that's wild. Putting her on the spot. Um. Is it like a disassociation with like a mental? Close enough. Go ahead. Being aware of what's happening. Perfect. Go ahead. Don't cheat. Yeah. Mm. Don't cheat. Cause she. Yeah. I do this. Go ahead. I think it's a part of being mentally stable and also being mentally aware of where you're at and where people around you are at. And so, in real time, if you're dealing with a man who's experiencing cognitive dissonance, what would you do to respond? Um, honestly, I feel like black men have it the worst when it comes to mental health. Okay. Um, so I'm very aware with okay. the way I treat black men for that reason. So okay. I would respond very therapeutic, I feel like, Good based question. off my experience. Yep. You can answer too, even though you popped your balloon if you want to. It's fine. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, because I'm, shit, I need to figure it out. Shit, go ahead. <laughs> you got the pop. She ain't smiling no more. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> My fault. Yes. Are you asking what the definition of cognitive? I'm yes. To you because maybe you have, like, for instance, love. You might say one thing. I might say another. We don't agree. Right. So I'm not saying say what I say. I'm saying what it means. Cognitive dissonance is when you um, say something and you act. A completely different way. So when they're not aligning. Okay, so I pop one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. You gonna pop one y'all more? All pretty as hell. Don't yes. take me wrong for this, but I don't know y'all for shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck with that. I like her. I fuck with her. She okay. Was, <laughs> if he ain't choosing me, hey. If he ain't choosing me, I don't want him. I can fuck with a chick. He? Like that. Did he just say he? Pay attention, y'all. Choosing me, nah, hey, arms. if he ain't choosing me, I don't Buddy, 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 I caught that. I don't want him. I can fuck with a chick like that. I let can me, fuck let with me that. Him. I don't want him. What the fuck is he talking about? Uh-oh. Over here. I can fuck with that. Why'd you end up he popping? I ain't never point to you, so I'm kind of like disappointed. Your outfit was cute as fuck, but go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Just, okay. Go ahead. The whole, like, yeah. all of that. She y'all felt pressured. So I don't she felt pressured, bro. Yeah, I don't know y'all for shit. Y'all pretty as hell. I, I fuck with how you doing this shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. Questions, honestly, and I feel like you had a little bit more of time to kind of figure it out. That's dope. I went last. Okay. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that was my situation. That's all. Yeah, I was really, like, liking you. Like, your mm. look. The whole look is so dope. I like Thank the you. whole boho, like, natural thing. You mean a hobo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dope. But it, it was just, yeah, the... All the indecisiveness, yeah, yeah, super indecisive. That could do it. Yeah. I done turned a lot of people down based on that. All right, so then I guess I'll go ahead and ask these ladies a question. Hmm, let's see here. Okay, I'll go ahead and ask them. So, ladies, what are some of the characteristics you look for in a partner? Oh. That's funny because that's what I was going to ask if I had a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely someone that is able to comprehend. I feel like listening is one thing, but understanding what's coming out of my mouth is another. Um, also, just being open. I'm very artsy. Very. If you were trying to find me, I'm either asleep or working on something. So that's good. Kind of understanding sometimes my space is just what it is, and it's just to express myself. I ain't gonna lie, she, she valid. I ain't gonna lie, she valid. Yeah. You can just tell when a girl is just not outside. To lead me correctly. I've been led down so many different wrong paths with men, and I'm tired. Just mm. like you're tired. Mm. <laughs> Where do you want to go? I want to be led 
to greatness. Like I want somebody that's gonna have multiple businesses and and me be a part of those businesses. I don't want you to do it alone. I want to be a part of it. Yeah. I want you to venture off into what I'm doing as well and be a part of that as well. Um, you know, I want to build a foundation, like a very strong foundation that way. So when we're at the top and things go wrong, we have that strong foundation to like build off. Valid. Of. Do you want to build it off of money or love? Love. I have my own money. Hey, it was a trick question. I was just, I just want to see what she was thinking. I love it. I appreciate you. Thank you. I fuck with how you control in a room. That shit tough. Uh, respectful, loving, and are you open? Open-minded or open-hearted? Or what do you look for? Oh, yeah. all of it. Now, you ask for open-minded. Uh-oh. Open-hearted. He about to stump her. Random question. It doesn't have to go to everybody, but it's very specific. Um, what does that look like for you and a person who might have a kid already? Yeah, I got a son. He's five years old. He's good, but he's bad. <laughs> I'm just being real. However, I'm teaching him to build and groom himself around people. Yeah. So how does that look for someone who doesn't have any kids? Mm. A new kid. Yeah, Great question. Uh, Again, I... everybody. Yeah. Right. Uh, I love kids. I'm actually, um, I'm very nurturing. I love being a mother. I have two sons myself, Age. six and two. Okay. So for yourself, life insurance policy, you and your kids? Tell me about that. I do not at this time. Okay. And would you have a reason for why not? Mm. Uh, Be real. You know, hey. I just haven't set it up it's, yet. It's just one of those things, huh? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Um, based on what I've seen, I'm going to go ahead and pop this below. Mm. Let's move on over here. Great, great executive decision. He controls this shit. I fuck with it. Left. Uh, any his fit's still wild. Let's not forget. His fit is wild. Let's not forget. All right. Uh, what type of father are you? Are you very involved? Are you not so involved? Are you? Co how? What kind of co-parent are you? Awesome question. Um, I'm one of the fathers who will like do the absolute most and still get the absolute least from their partner but still hang in there because I ain't got shit else. I ain't had no family growing up. I ain't necessarily had the things that I wanted to have growing up. So for my son, which is what I have, he's five years old, I feel like that's the only thing that I can give him besides a life insurance policy, for example, which is why I asked that question. Okay. That's my, question. <clears throat> my question's for the children as well. I know this sounds like you're providing, which is great, but do you also instill in them, like, mentally, emotionally, because I feel like raising boys is a little different, guys are a little bit more lenient when it comes to that, but it's mm. important to know what right. Yeah, um, it's funny because, man, I grew up, I sat with a dude who brought me out here to Arizona named Meech, Demetrius, we watched a movie called Mr. Fantastic, and it's weird because what that the fuck is he talking about? Kids, everything he could teach him in regards to outside of school and the social structure that has everything to do with not what we're used to growing up with. And I took that and I ran with that. So when it comes to the kids, like mm. no matter whether it's my kid or not, I'm installing the emotional structure, the stability, the concept. He's a great speaker though, I ain't gonna lie! That I can talk to a woman and not feel emotion, that's a problem, right? There's, there should be some connection there. And so if I can talk to a woman and we can gain some connection, I need to be able to show that to the next generation. And if I can, then that means we have some hope versus we figure out how to like bash each other and not make the work. So that's okay. my concept. I feel like that answer like a two-on-one. It was your most mm -hmm. intelligent for yourself. Okay. You have a whole lot of that. That's that's <laughs> like my regular, but that's not like in real time, right? Yeah. In real time, we care about like our bills being paid. We yeah, care about course, like our needs being met. You come before your children, or if you have children, yeah. you come before them, and then the kids come. And that's kind of like how I try to teach the people to be when you're going to be around someone who's trying to lead and provide. Because there's no way I'm going to provide for the kids and not provide for you as a woman. That makes no sense at all. Okay. Mm. He's speaking them shits, boy. He's speaking them shits. Only got two ladies left. He's smooth with it. He's smooth with it. I got a ladies. You do. What you mean? You Don't sell. <laughs> and they haven't, haven't. <laughs> You got to pick. You got two beautiful ladies here. Who are you going to pick? Mm. 
told my, my last decision I'm gonna go ahead and make is no. I'm gonna pop this balloon. No! And if you will have me, I'll take you on a date. Come on out here. No! No! I mean, I can't even be mad at the decision. I mean, that's just, that's just, but she's gorgeous right there, bro. Damn. I wonder if she used to getting chosen. Like, I wonder if she used to getting, like, the pretty treatment and that just spanked her whole ego just now. I wonder. Let me look at her face. Oh, I'll have you come here. All right. So, mm, is it going to be a yes? That kind of hurt her. Um, I have one question. Okay. Where do you currently reside? I have a house on the south side of Phoenix. I have an apartment on 16th and Bethany Home. I live mm. in the real estate, so I have a few places to stay. And me living in California is not a problem for you? No, I actually plan to do some work in California over the next year to two and a half years. I have a place in Cali that I could reside, so we could kick it whenever you want to, honestly. Mm. So, is that going to be a yes for you, friend? Yeah. All right, is it a yes okay. for you? Okay! Yes. Hey, we got a match! Okay! All right, I'll go ahead and take that mic, and you guys can go on up. Hey, that's tough. <laughs> he really did him. that. He really <laughs> did that. He really did that. Alright everyone, thank you so much for tuning in on this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured. Hey look. Like subscribe if you do to be a part of Q13 count away. Let's go. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs>